Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you another terminal emulator called Console. It is similar to Xterm but much better. But first I would like to show an alternative way to start your virtual machine. So, so far we started VirtualBox, selected the virtual machine and clicked on start. But there is a shortcut. Right click on your virtual machine and here you can create a shortcut on the desktop. Okay, so this is the new icon that appeared. I bring it up here. And now, if you click on this icon, the virtual machine will start. And here it is. Now, let's talk about console. So this is a terminal emulator. We have already seen Xterm, which is a very basic terminal emulator. Here on the desktop you can do a right click and select Open Terminal. This is called GNOME Terminal. If we look at the running processes, here it is. This is GNOME Terminal. Let's start another instance in the background. So here it is. And today we will look at console. Under Windows we also have a terminal, so we have something similar. If you launch CMD you also get a terminal where you can type commands like dir and so on. But this is a very basic uh, terminal emulator that you can find in Windows. So, let's see the installation of console. Open a terminal and sudo apt install and the name of the package. Provide your password. It will download a lot of packages. OK, we are ready. Start console. Click on this icon. Type console. It will find it and launch it. Maybe it will appear like this. I prefer to maximize it. Now the font size is very small. Let's modify it. So go to settings. Manage profiles and here select Edit Profile and go to Appearance. The font size is very small. I increase it to 14 and here you can see some color schemes. It's enough to hover your mouse over it and then you will get a preview. Uh, I like Linux colors a lot, but for the sake of this video I will switch to a light background. So for instance solarized light looks good. Apply and OK. OK. Let's see if these settings are persistent. Quit the console, launch it again. OK, the settings are there. Hmm. So we have seen the settings for the font size and background color. Now let's see how we can lock it to the launcher. When a program is running, you can see them here on the left side. 
in the launcher. So console is there, but if I quit with control D, it disappears. So how could we put it here permanently and then we could start it easily? So for instance, in the case of Windows, here we also have a taskbar uh, and if we want to start the program quickly, we can pull it down and then just with one click we can start it easily. So how can we do the same thing here in Ubuntu? Launch console again and here right click on this icon and select lock to launcher and now it will remain there permanently. Let's quit console and it is still there. If you want to remove it, right click on it and unlock from launcher. You can also move it, move this icon somewhere else, click on it, hold the left mouse down and pull it up. And here release the mouse button. And now it will stay there. So from now on you can start your console just with one click. And a very big advantage of console is that it can it can treat tabs. So if you press Ctrl Shift and T uh, hash mark is a comment. <laughs> so if you press Ctrl Shift T then you can open a new tab. You see, this is the new tab and this is the previous tab. If you click on it, if you click on a tab, you can switch to that. So this is the first tab and this is the second tab. So instead of creating new terminal windows when you want to do several things, instead of this, you can work with one window with one console window and you simply open several tabs and you can switch them either with your mouse or simply hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys left and right so shift plus left arrow or right arrow. So I want to switch to the second, shift and right, shift and right again. If I press shift and right again it will jump back to the first one, so it's circular. Ok, let's see how to scroll back. Let's say that here we execute some commands, we execute several commands and the previous output disappears. And how to see the previous output? You can use the keyboard, hold down the shift key and press the up arrow. Or, here is also a scroll bar, you can also use it, or simply use, use the up arrow and down arrow to scroll. You can also use page up and page down. So again, hold down the shift and press page up, you can go up one page and page with sh holding the shift with page down you can go down. If you go up to the top for instance then if you press a key for instance space it will jump down to the bottom immediately. And I want to show you an extra thing how to highlight the current tab. 
I go to my host machine this is my host and here I also use console and as you can see I have three tabs and the current tab is highlighted in green so it's very visible where I am which tab is selected but if I come back to the virtual machine here the current tab is not really highlighted so when you have lots of tabs sometimes it's very difficult to see which one is the current one and I want to show you a solution for this problem I have a Linux blog called Ubuntu Incident and here I wrote about it mm, it is console highlight I will put the link of this blog post uh, at the bottom of this script at, at the bottom of this video so we need to create a file with this content and let's save it in a file console.css so here we are in the home directory let's use gedit console.css with Ctrl V or Shift Insert you can insert the content save it Ctrl S and close the file let's see if it was created yes we have this file then go to settings configure console and here top bar and here specify this file file name is console.css hmm. it should appear here Oh, maybe we need to select it first. No. And then type it here directly. Slash home slash jumba slash console dot CSS. Apply and it works. As you can see, it is highlighted in green and the text is in bold I don't know why it doesn't work hmm, strange okay so now the current tab is nicely highlighted let's click and see if it's permanent fine it's there so we saw how to edit the settings of console and here we modified the main profile but we can also create uh, other profiles and maybe it would be better to, to create some other profiles so let's create a profile with a light background and another one with a dark background so under settings manage profiles and let's create a new profile and the profile name can be light light background apply appearance it is good solarize light so it's a copy at the moment it's a copy of the 
default profile. And let's create another one with the name dark and it should have Linux colors. Apply. Okay. And now here we can change between them. So now we have a dark background and now we have a light background. You can select which one should be the default. So if the dark is set as default, then if you quit and restart console, then the dark one will start. I prefer for these videos the light background. Let it be the default. Quit, restart, and now the light background starts. So I suggest that you create some profiles and maybe maybe it was not a good idea to modify the default profile create some other profiles and modify them okay and uh, i also want to show something with uh, with the scrolling so here is a simple script that sim that produces some numbers so once again if you want to go back if you want to see what was printed before simply hold the shift key and press the up arrow or you can also press the page up and then you jump up one page if you want to go down hold the shift and press the down arrow or hold the shift and page down you can also use shift home to jump to the top or shift and to jump to the bottom and here let's see the profiles so now we have a light background let's edit it and here scrolling as we can see it will keep only the previous 1000 lines so you cannot go back indefinitely if you do not want this 1000 lines limitation then select unlimited scroll back and now uh, there is no limit there is no limitation how many lines how many pages you can go back of course when you close the console uh, those previous lines will be lost so apply and let's do the same with the dark background to scrolling unlimited okay and maybe with the default profile unlimited uh, once it will be very very useful for you <laughs> that you can go back and check everything oh the mouse wheel also works so if i roll up i can also see the previous lines roll down you can go down it works too excellent so today we saw a very nice terminal emulator called console we saw the basic settings how to change the font side how to change the background how to create new tabs how to switch between the tabs and at the end we also saw how to tweak this software a bit to highlight the current tab and in the next video I want to show you another terminal emulator called Yakwake. So thank you for your attention.